Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and we are back with more Everspace 2. And we are finally heading to the Ghost Fleet. Last couple of episodes, if you haven't seen them, were us taking down pirate bases, opening up this area. This should be really interesting. I have not gone in here yet, so we're doing this blind. But then, I think, was it the last episode? Yeah, we took on a destroyer, so you might want to check that out. And if you like what I'm doing, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know you guys are enjoying it. You know, as always, please put your thoughts down in the comments. Now we'll chat. But yeah, this should be interesting. I have not seen this. Because I'm not following anybody else online. Just me and me playing, so... Yeah, considering we've already been through a couple of places like this. Okay, so... What we need to find is the opening mechanism. This one's on the fritz. Okay. Kind of a small ghost fleet. Okay. Oh, don't do be skipping on me now, game. That would not bode well for us. Oh! Oh, dude, did I actually drop? Okay. And... Come on. Go. along with their vessels. Yeah, the fleet was always stingy when it came to their hive tech. They didn't even give one to me. Something about this place. Who is this? Temporal Nano Recom... Ooh. That's one I can actually use. Is this... Oh, another Alterna Bypass. Cool. Nope. Nope. That's garbage. I like the it weapons that I currently have. Horribly wrong. We really shouldn't be here. Nope. <laughs> and there's the welcoming committee. They're a bit out still, but... Damn it! We're running out of time. There is one here. I know it. Mm, nope, nothing in there. Okay. Well, if it isn't Dax Bashar... Uh-oh. Are you missing your little cell? It's the gas mask. You know, no one who ever found this place made it out alive. 
Is that a fact? See all those wrecked fighters? Quite a few still have pilots attached to them. Oh, geez. So this is our first boss fight, huh? So anytime you fight these guys, you definitely want to go after... Whoa. Their AI. Whoa. And everything crashed. All right, and we're back. Wow, that was so weird the game crashed. I have no idea what was going on, where we're at now. Oh, dude, it put us behind a force field. That's not good. Nothing. Oh, look at that. Marksman Prime. Definitely a better one than I currently have. Wait a minute. Ooh, it's range. Okay. I wonder if that just didn't come up in the first time we were in here. So weird. Oh well. Game is in early access. There are going to be bugs. Of course now, I don't know where the hell I am. <laughs> well, if it isn't Dex Bashar... that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go after his drones first. Didn't do anything to him. He can't get through his shield. It's only protecting against energy blasts. Try hurling something against him, like a broken drone or something. I tried that and it didn't work. Okay. 
Oh, he got it. That was an awfully fast. Ooh, I sure is working well on it. I gotta find me a drone. I'm gonna keep getting hit until I do. Alright, where are you, dude? Didn't work. Uh oh, where'd it go? Because it's it has to do, I bet you, anything with us being a clone. So a past life. When the gas mask said that no one ever left this place alive, I finally remembered. Because it was certainly true for me. Shit. Is that you in there? Yeah. A marauder shot down my thrusters. They plundered my ship, but didn't kill me. Had to wait until I ran out of oxygen for that. Man, I'm sorry. Let's search this thing and never come back. There it is. Hey, it's still active. Ive, buddy, do you read me? This is me, Muchlab, in her six-mile ball chunks. Sounds broken. Genitive arm, madam to eternities. Maybe it's just a speech module? It might still be able to override the jump gate. Meet me at Union Bridge so we can give it a try. No, I am wondering what this last one that I see is. It's just a dispenser? Is that what all it is? Yeah, we probably already did it. Okay, so we gotta go back to the Union Bridge. Gotta give them to him. That's pretty freaking cool looking. Never seen a game have a blown up planet like that. It's all good. And that actually, that's weird, because... So, when we get through the gate, I take it you're meeting this friend of yours, right? Yeah, Maddox. We're supposed to rendezvous at a ramen joint at Presque Star Base. Dex, that body we just found, when I saw it, it felt like that was still me in there. I remember dying so many times. It's almost as if I never even had a life at all. I get your point. It's been a long time since I served in the fleet, but I still wonder if I could ever stop being a soldier. Can't imagine how it must be for a guy like you, who's been at war for multiple lifetimes. But I do believe I know what you're thinking. Yeah? Yeah. You're thinking it can't end like this. It cannot. Mark the wheat and tricks and the lob. That's the voice from the first game. I bet you anything. That this hive really works. That's awesome that they brought that guy's voice back. But yeah, boy, the the yeah, they've got balancing to do because that fight should have been harder. I hit him three times, it was easy. But I also have give you guys a quick rundown. So we've got that. Powerful laser beam. The Gauss cannon. And then, didn't use any missiles. I got a superior, and I just got this as a random drop as I think I was cleaning up the last area. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. It's all good. But from when the game crashed, we still kept the Alterna, Alterna Bypass. So, yeah, that's, oh. And that's the energy core. That is the shield. And I'm at 509 on my phase plating, so. 
This should be interesting. We should have a whole new system to work in. Before we meet him, we're going to hit that trading outpost just in case. here of wanton minds. Skullfowl's luring eagle souls. Cut that out. Just open the gate for us. You call on Taxo? Jin? Maybe if I connect it directly to the key module, I can force a link between it and the gate. It's worth a shot. Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. Alright, real quick. Hopefully this doesn't crash it again. Nope, we're good. There, so where are we supposed to tap this thing? There it is. Down the outside. Uh, looks like it. Yep. Itty bitty terminal there. You heard that? I think it worked. It. We'll live like intergalactic royalty for generations to come. Good for you guys. Just don't forget your promise to help me get out of this cesspool first. Man, you're not getting it. When I say we are getting rich, that also includes you. Forget Eden 12. Once we're done, you'll have enough credits to terraform your own little homeworld. You sure about this? Hell yeah. There's no way I'll finish this without a badass pilot like you on board. You decided to trust me, so I'll keep on trusting you, too. So, are you in, or not? Alright then. Count me in. Nice. Then let's get moving. I don't want to jinx it any further. What the... Damn it! I can't move! Guess after that little talk of yours, I don't need to ask if you're the right guy. You have no idea how long I've been looking for you, Mr. Bashar. Now, if you just let me take him... There's someone who'd like to have a word with him. You'll need to get through me first. Oh boy. I guess it's gonna end in bloodshed again. Where'd he go? Over here. Damn it, he's repairing himself. Oh, that's not cool. Because I gotta hit him with everything as close as I can. Adam 
returns to the base distraught after a fateful encounter in which Dax died. He relates how Dax insisted his body was brought to the base and asks the doctor to run a post-mortem. Adam tells the doctor about the job Dax had talked about. He suspects that there might be clues on the base. The post-mortem yields a surprising result in the form of a chip buried in Dax's body. A closer examination reveals a part of the complicated series of coordinates, although incomplete. Adam reckons that the remaining part of the code lies with Dax's companion on Prescott Starbase, where he had been trying to go when he died. Adam offers the doctor a cut of the job if she can remain on the base with Ben for a while longer. The doctor, however, questions Adam about his impatience and coldness considering his friend has died. Adam apologizes for his insensitivity and promises to be more mindful. The doctor does not yet know he is a clone. Some beeping is heard from the other part of the medical bay, and they go to where Ben has been in stasis. Ben is waking up, and Adam is glad to see him well. He promises to catch Ben up on the situation. Looks like you've inherited a hell of a mess here, buddy. At least it's something we can work with, and we're not alone. Look, Ben, I need to get to Prescott Starbase to take care of some unfinished business for Dax. Ben is still my patient and will require some rehabilitation yet. I won't permit him leaving my care until he is ready. Okay, I understand. But Ben, you'll need to step into Dax's boots while I'm gone. I guess I could take a look around the place and see what I can do. But first, I need you to look at that hive unit for me. I really just needed to smoothly hack the jump gate to Union. My last attempt was quite a hassle. Sure. Just need to adjust its wavelength. There you go. It's only the speech processor that's scrambled and requires a reboot. But I have no idea how it'll behave beyond that point until you talk to it. Hive units are known to be irritating, but the positives sometimes outweigh the negatives. I'll keep frequent contact to me back before you know it. Just watch yourself, Adam. Hey, you guys look out for each other. Okay. So, oh no, all that stuff I put into that dude is gone. Oh, or is it? No, no, he took over. It looks like, yeah, he took over uh, Dax's. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> he took over Dax's stuff. Sorry about that. Big old sneeze. Open the jump gate to Union. Alrighty. Oh, wrong button. Alright, folks, so we'll stop right there. When we come back next time, we're gonna go to that jump gate again and see what we can see. We keep your heads down. Hail guns. Oh. I and my little clone buddy here. I'll see you again real damn soon.